Hi guys, Paul Gold here and a quick video for you in response to the many emails and comments I've been getting from people who are increasingly disappointed or certainly worried about how poorly they play in relation in their matches in relation to how well they practice and that they know they can play. So what I did yesterday was I played a, a practice set um, and I stuck a camera up in the corner and this isn't one of those things where I've doctored um, videos to show points that I've seen other other people set up and that's fine when you're trying to illustrate something but this is a real live match real live points now I've edited some of it out obviously because I don't want you to be sitting through 25 minutes uh, of this set with me picking balls up and just walking backwards and forwards but the main thing to think about first off is that many people don't utilize the initial period, the knock-up even, in their matches to get themselves off to a good start. And you'll see in this video I'm explaining the kind of things you should be doing and the kind of things I do when I'm playing matches. So the bottom line is this isn't set up, it's just a way of illustrating um, a few points that I think you could find useful. Like I said, first thing off, have a look at the kind of knock-up strategy that I think you need to be using and you need to be employing, especially if it's against an opponent that you don't know. So with that said, enjoy the video. Please leave me a comment below because I need to know whether you like this, this kind of stuff or whether I need to be going off in a different direction with it. There's loads more of it to come, but initially I just thought it'd be useful to see um, some stuff of me playing to see how I do it. Not that I know everything, but certainly there are some, some strategies that I use that I know certainly work well because they're common practice to, to players that play matches on a regular basis and that are pretty successful in that translation of practice form to match form. Like I say, hope you enjoy it and please leave me a comment. So, just starting up, um, it's just knocking up, just feeding the ball. And what I'm trying to do here is just get a good long swing through the ball. I'm actually not too worried about length. I'm just trying to keep smooth and hitting through the ball and, and staying light on my feet. That's the thing. I'm trying to get my feet moving straight away and being nice and light and and just trying to kind of get a, a, a swing going. That's the main thing. How how I can get my follow through right the way through the ball. I, even there, I don't mind drive rolling the ball. You know, it's it's just really to get a feel on the ball. And look, you can see my feet are moving pretty well now. Obviously, I've got um, I've got something coming out on footwork because I think it's that important. Pretty soon, next couple of weeks, but. Um, just trying to hit through the ball, nice net clearance, that's my main thing, net clearance, just to keep the ball in play, there I was just coming in to just make a little volley, now I'm also looking down the other end, I'm hitting some balls up the middle, one of the little tricks you want to look at is hit the ball up the centre and see what the opponent prefers, now if they prefer to play a backhand on it, then Obviously, their backhand may, may be their preferred shot. If it's a forehand, then you, you might think that they're, back, that, that, that they're trying to avoid their backhand. Have a quick look. Now, with some of these, I'm just trying to think what I did now. I remember going slightly round here, and I'm trying to just get a feel on my forehand. Um, the opponent's at the net now, but I, you can see I've just set myself up slightly to the left on a couple of those just to, to give myself a go on the forehand, but I'm just trying to keep the ball in play and make, making sure I make him play as many volleys as I can, because I want to see can he volley, and I'm actually noticing he's, he's knocking a few out there. So I'm now putting a few up, as I say, this is a, just a real brief version, I'm now putting a few balls up for him to smash, but I've already noted that if I can keep the ball in play, he's not making every volley, he's not rifling every volley, so now let's have a look at his smash, so he's smashing, and I noticed also that he didn't, he kind of tended back to smash back to me, so it meant I could put a few balls up for him to, to just keep smashing, he didn't keep knocking them away, so I'm making a note of those. Now we're on to return. Now these are just warm-up returns. I'm being quite aggressive on these, and I'm almost giving him the, the feeling that you know I'm ready to play, even in the knock-up. Whereas some people 
I feel waste the knock up. You know, they, they, they've got a ball coming in. They're a bit sloppy with the footwork there. I look like I'm ready. Chip back, neutralise that one. Nice solid backhand here and really cracking through inside out there on that forehand. And I'm fist pumping a little bit just, just to kind of mentally show him, oh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go. You know, straight away he's got the signals that, that I'm ready to play. So, me warming up some serves. And what am I trying to do here? Again, looking at his preferred returns. I'm just making a nice backhand volley there. And again, I'm not trying to finish the point so much there. I'm just trying to get a good solid hit on the first volley. So, it's putting serves in, seeing, seeing what kind of returns he makes, and making a good solid first volley. Happy to happy to let that one go by. But reaching up, just the same as the ground structure. I'm trying to get a nice full, um, nice full swing. It serves. I'm reaching up, really reaching up to really crack through the ball straight away. Not inhibited at all. Kicking that one in a little bit, and there's a nice little volley into the corner there. And again, a little fist pump just to show him that. You know, I'm ready to go. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm vibed up, and it's only the knock-up, so he might start getting worried. And one more. And I'm varying the serve, like I say. You can't see where they're going, but I'm really trying to just see what he, what he's dealing with. Kick serve in there, sliced approach. Actually, that, that I remember that backhand volley went behind him because he came back over to cover the the center there. That's pretty important, you know, obviously I'm changing sides here now, but it's pretty important as well as getting your game together, it's pretty important to actually start taking clues about what serves they can deal with and what they, you know, are struggling with. And I think I remember at this point thinking, OK, I'll switch to uh, kicking a, a few in here. So I'm kicking a few in, yeah, and he's hit that one in the net. So I thought, mm, OK, let's see again. Let me just kick another one in. So I'm kicking that one. That's, that's hit pretty well there, yeah. And again, I remember they're, they're jumping pretty much into his chest there. So he, he was struggling to, to deal with those. So I, I'm noting already that kick, there's a nice kick there. Yeah, and he's hit that one long. So um, I've already noted he's struggling dealing with my kicker. So here we go. Yeah, we're actually playing some points now. Yeah, I'm showing in the balls. And we're into playing points. And what have we got here? Now, yeah, well, I'm probably letting you know, just in case you ever play me, I always tend to go big down the centre on that first serve. And, and, and that dealt, and that dealed out... Um, deal down and that got me the free point there that was a close one I think you called that one out I've gone up the center again heavy flat down the middle he's called it out um, or was it a, a net serve so I think I've got a first serve again but always going for a few cheap points early on that was gone wide and now here comes the kick serve because I'm thinking mm, definitely well, I'm, I'm okay with the kick I can kick these in all day it's not a problem I remember that yeah, I hit a great forehand into the corner there he mishit he went for the backhand mishit it and it dropped really short angled so one down the middle and that's the game. So I'm now getting mentally ready now. How, do I, how am I going to return his serve? Again, I'm running round deep. I'm stuck in that corner trying to dominate these points with my forehand and I noticed that I didn't have to go for too much but similar to with the kick serve if I was able to, you know, hit hit them heavily top spun deep into his backhand. He was struggling a bit with those. So all the notes that I, I took mentally early on in the knockup, I'm now, as the game develops, I'm trying to put those in and see how they go. Yeah, it was a good return up the line. Then he's tried to go wide, tried to 
to slice it out I remember and it didn't quite make it hit it too much up into the angle and I was able to just force it up the line if I remember rightly I did the same on the backhand again yeah he's gone wide and I've sliced it up the line and pulled him out wide obviously if you remember he's obviously serving from the ad side so it's a long way for him to travel there so movement and dealing with my top spin I remember was a bit of a problem for him great shot. Um, I actually got lucky on the first one there. Hit the forehand, framed it a bit and it did get him into trouble. So he's hit that one three quarters of the, of the way down. And again, I've gone back behind him with that with that forehand. So again, I'm, I'm really noting that by keeping the ball in, I remember adding a bit of extra topspin to these shots because it, it was the topspin that was causing him the most problems. And that was a slice out wide which aced him on that one with the slice serve and again I'm trying to play and it's a practice set it's a, it's a team practice night and a practice set but I'm trying to take it as seriously as I can and you can see again I've gone kicker there he can't deal with that so it just means I can just angle that one off into the into the corner so um, takeaway point there is that I know he's struggling to deal with the kicker, so I'm 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 giving him a lot of a lot of kick serves. I'm I'm hitting them heavy because I can do that. I can hit them hard. I'm not holding back, but I can kick them in. And again, an easy put away volley there because he just can't keep the ball down. He, he's either hitting them out long or um, they're floaters for me. So I'm, I'm just taking a bit of pace off, which helps my first serve percentage. Now, obviously, I'm hitting a high percentage of first serves because I'm hitting top spin serves here. I'm not going for too many flat ones. Kick up the middle. Oh, yeah, inside out. <laughs> Quite like that one. Inside out. Just lent back, a bit Rafa-like. Inside out and into the corner. All right, back onto some more returns then. And here, I remember trying to really work my feet quickly here on these returns. Little shuffles, good serve, neutralise. Oh, I've, I've just sneaked in behind that one. Oh, he's gone past me. But I'm trying to keep active on the volley. Oh, tried to pass me again. I've dug it up. Yeah, put it away. Again, because the footwork, it was the footwork from the from the service return that really set me up on that one because my feet were firing, so the rest of the point was played with really quick feet. Back on the turn, back up the line here. Yeah, I remember that. Disappointed with that one. I think that was a break point, or well, certainly game point, and I. I had the gap and I kind of held off of it, slowed the racket down, I had the, I had the gap up the line and I didn't go for that. I was not too happy with that one. Should have really just committed and gone for it. Yeah, but that was good because I remember that one. Heavy serve and he's really, he hasn't hit a great return. He thinks I'm going in the corner so I've just dropped it. Inside out with a bit of extra topspin, it's, it's deep in the corner, kicking away, struggling to to retrieve those. And again, just mentally focusing. Yeah, just waiting. When I turn around, I'm ready to go. I don't want to be standing there waiting for him while he's getting ready to serve. If anything, I want him waiting for me while I just get myself ready. Tried to go out wide, and I've, I've, I remember reading that one. That's a good solid return, backhand return up the line. Okay, Sam again. Again, oh, yeah, he's got he's got me there wider, and I've just kept the ball in. But again, that heavily top spun whips. You can't really see the angle there, but I remember getting some good angles on that one. He's just unable to keep the ball in. He 
it's another good backhand return. Yeah, I remember him trying to... I've hit a couple of good backhand returns there, and I remember him thinking he's got to go even wider. He didn't seem too confident to hit the ball up the middle onto my forehand, because I've, I've kind of had some power on the forehand there. He's gone to my backhand, not been able to um, hurt me too much. Again, every time I've gone backhand, yeah, backhand up the line, and he's got him to run around or run onto his forehand. He's not been able to control them. But again, good footwork on the return. Oh, yeah, that was it. I remember that. That was smack again down the line as he's unable. God, I've kind of read and moved out. That's one of the things I, I knew he was going to go out wide. And I've edged out there to make that shot. And he was unable to just go up the middle. Last couple, I think this was match point actually. Oh, drop shot, has he got it? No, yeah, dictating that one. Yeah, drop shot too good. And that's another one. I mean, um, I know he, he was beginning to kind of want to get a nice rhythm going, but I've drop shot it off the return. Another point, I remember this running pot. Look, oh, yeah, running buggy whip up the line for match point. And at that point, that was it, yeah. He said, uh, thank you very much, that'll do. 6-1 set. So, I mean, I, I I played pretty well there, I remember. But the takeaway for you guys is don't wait till you're three games into the set before you start settling into what you're doing and actually worrying about or even beginning to think about what your opponent's doing. You can do it from the knock-up. When you're in the knockup, you, you don't need to keep the ball in play. What you need to be doing is finding your rhythm. And you do that by just hitting the ball. Hit through the ball. Even if you only begin to find one or two shots, it's better than being inhibited and going into the game unable to hit to find your rhythm. Look at what shots they make. Look at what shots they play well. Make some mental notes. If you need to write them down, write them down. But then, when you go into the match, actually use the information. Um, if you'd like any more of this stuff, if you'd like it in a more detailed format, then please drop me a line. Leave me a comment underneath the uh, underneath this video um, at the bottom of the post, and I'm I'm happy to do that for you because it really is one of the keys to to kind of hitting the ground running in these matches so that you can actually get yourself up in the first set, which often can mean you win the first set, and statistically, the person who wins the first set is more likely to win the second. So, hope you got something out of that, guys. Let me know what you thought. Leave me a comment below, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.